Opposition activists are saying that the explosion was caused due to a rocket that was launched by Syrian government forces into this neighborhood. And the reason why it ended up causing such wide-scale devastation is because it was fired into an area that was fairly poorly built up, causing a number of buildings to collapse on top of one another. Video posted to YouTube showing the extent of the damage that was caused and parts of the rescue effort that included images of women and children being pulled out from underneath the rubble. Now, the Syrian government, for its part, is saying that the explosion was due to terrorist gangs trying to put together some sort of a bomb, effectively saying that this complex was being used as something of a bomb-making factory. Either way, what is undeniable is that people have died and that the ceasefire at this point in time has ceased to exist, and hence any sort of peaceful negotiation at this stage to try to end this crisis, well, that is something of an unrealistic proposition. And at this point, the future for Syria remains to continue to be incredibly bleak.